to understand what happens from here is in our hands. She was called an instigator, a rule breaker, a rabble rouser. And she is called the agitator, the pushy one, the one with attitude. Now is the time for all of us to stand up and say enough is enough. We just got From the ballot box to the factory floor, from her living room to the ER, she makes trouble, the good kind. She is the mother who cries out for sensible gun laws. This is about a right and wrong thing. The daughter who believes that equal justice means justice for all. We are America. The child who knows that black lives matter. She is our warrior on the front lines, challenging authority to make the world safe. Nobody is above the law. Refusing to be told who makes decisions about her body or anyone else's. These women and men of all ages, races, and backgrounds don't come to Planned Parenthood to make a political statement. They come to get quality, affordable health care. You are disadvantaging her because of her sex. And she knows that to change the world, you need to change the idea of power. Excuse me, Mr. Barr, this is my time and I control it. Because we are fighting for you each and every single day. And she knows her voice is heard and amplified by the women she elects to public office. If we want families to succeed, we start by empowering women. When I first got elected, I came to Washington, D.C. to fight for the issues that are so important in our community. We look forward, though, to making sure that this district is finally well represented. The things that we ran on going into November, we are doing that. Women don't just fight for women. They fight for families. They fight for fairness, inclusion, justice. To make our nation a more perfect union, especially for those people who are the most marginal. If we're going to jumpstart the middle class, we've got to ensure that college is affordable. Separation of families and children are detrimental to their health. Give the victims of gender bias in the workplace the tools they need to seek justice. Women are the most important political force in the United States of America. She represents her views on education. We've got to pay educators more and we've got to hire more educators. We're gonna raise up the profile of teachers and celebrate who they are and give them better pay. She represents her concerns about health care. Health care is the number one issue in this election every day, every day. She speaks out on equal pay. It's very frustrating for women everywhere because you're feeling like they aren't getting paid what they should be and focuses on protecting our children. Let's give parents the peace of mind that their kids are safe and are being set up for success. Caring for our seniors and the people who care for them. She keeps this nation going even in challenging times. And while running for office is not easy. What's wrong with my running for president of this country? Nevertheless, she persists. But we learned a long time ago, you don't get what you don't fight for. And perseveres. This is our time. And prevails. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. A record-breaking number of women ran in the midterms and won. She builds coalitions, and she knows who her allies are. From the fight for health care to authoring the Violence Against Women's Act to building a society where fairness and equality and opportunity applies to everyone. Joe Biden knows a stronger America is one that works for women. So go ahead and celebrate, you rabble rouser, you rule breaker, you force of nature. Our country, our world needs you. Keep rising.
and vote.